Hi, in this video I uh, will be going over uh, some concepts in C sharp, so I'll be continuing with the C sharp video tutorials. Uh, so in this video we'll be uh, learning about uh, about uh, what do we learn about? We'll be learning about uh, actually. So we'll be doing the lab for list boxes. So I've already created the form. Uh, using the design tab uh, but basically I'll just tell you what identifiers to use sorry just hit the mic cord here okay so we have a label here a label here and a label here uh, so this label here is called prompt label you can see the identifier in the top left corner here right there, I just highlighted it so prompt label uh, we have three labels, this one down here is output description label this one is time zone label and then we have two buttons OK button and cancel button or exit button, also oh, OK button, and then we have our exit button, and then we have our city list box here. Excuse me, excuse me. So then we have uh, five. I believe they're items. So added them to this collection here, just by clicking the ellipsis button and then adding them in. We did that in the previous video. Well, that's pretty much it. Uh, so we'll jump to the code now. So you can pause the video and set that up if you're following along. You can rewind and if you're uh, confused on which identifiers to use. You just have to change this property here by, we've done it every time, but you just click that. Uh, so if it's a new control from now on, I'm just gonna be talking about it in the notes. And then in the lab, I'll just be setting up the form before uh, I start recording the video because we've already gone over the concept so it's just the same thing no point of doing it every time okay so once we have that then we'll do the code so ok button uh, so I'm going to click this twice to generate the event handler here Oh, I was going to change the theme as well. Could do that now, actually, so I don't forget. So I'm just going to click Settings in Rider. Hopefully, it doesn't make me restart it. But uh, to do that, Appearance Theme. I don't think you can see this, but it'll say Appearance of Behavior. I'm going to click Appearance. Right now, it's set to Resharper Dark. I'm going to go with what's a Rider Melon Dark. Right now in Resharp or Dark. Okay, so they got some new themes here. Visual Assist. Rider Day. Uh, I assume that's going to be Light. Resharp or Dark. Resharp or Light. Rider Day. What is Rider Day? Let me try that. Yeah, that, I don't want that. That's going to give me a headache real fast. Okay. Rider Melon Dark. Let's try that one. Hit Save. How's that? Uh, kind of looks like the Dracula theme, or they call it Darkula. Uh, it's not that great. Kind of boring colors here. What is that? Like a. They used to have. What is that? Like a. Back in the day, they used to have these colorful pencils, whatever they called it. They had a color on it that almost looks like skin color. They had a. <laughs> it's kind of a kind of a racist name, but. It was like a Canadian, uh, it was in the box of Canadian Crayola, those drawing pencils, whatever. You know what I'm talking about? Pencils, like the colorful ones. And on the side it'd be like, a color like this, it'd be called skin color, it was like kind of pinkish. Kind of looked like a fish, like a light fish kind of scale color. That's what it kind of looks like, it's not that great. 
try something else here. Rider Melon, Rider Knight, how's that? It's almost the same thing. They just flip the these colors, the object and the key, uh, the and their name got switched. Okay, that's not that great. Pretty boring here. Just got like two colors. These aren't even colors. They're hardly colors. This one, that's like a white and a pink and a like a whatever that is and a gray. That's not very. Not very interesting. Do they have anything better than this? You can create your own, of course. I should try to do that at some point. It's, uh, how's Rider Dark? Pretty boring. Same. Really? Wow, those are exactly the same almost. That's not that great. High contrast. How's that? Well, that's. Uh, Kind of boring color, so yellow, brown, and white. That's not that great. I'd go with the high contrast look, but customized colors would be good. I might have to download some, get more. You can get more themes. Not getting anything here. Okay, I'll go with that later. I'll just pick something now, uh, just to go down, go continue with the the tutorial. Visual assist. How's that? A little better. Visual assist. Okay, so it's, it'll assist you visually. Uh, okay, we'll just one more, and we'll go back to the code settings. Visual Studio Dark, High Contrast, Rider Light, Rider Dark, Darkula, Darkula isn't very good. They're pretty much all the same like that. Visual Studio, we said Dark, right? Uh, it's not that great either. These are pretty bad, I gotta admit. Uh, Rider Knight, we went over that. Rider Melon. We'll just go with the melon for now. Okay, so let's, uh... So we have our... So back to the code here, let's just comment that one out. So then here we'll have... So we'll have a local variable here, string city. So we'll say if city list box dot selected index right. So if city list box dot selected index does not equal negative one, which means that something is selected. We'll say city points to city list box dot. What, what, what am I typing here? City points to city list box dot selected item dot two string. So what are we doing here? We're saying okay, uh, uh, string city. So it's a local variable. local string variable if yeah I don't think these comment colors are very good I'll have to probably change back no one's gonna be able to change that I'll try visual assist and see if that works better but for now hopefully you guys can see that so string city actually I don't know if anyone can really see uh, well that's okay because these colors are pretty easy to see I'll try to look for a custom theme and see if there's any good ones out there they're usually pretty bad though to be honest you have to create your own. 
uh, if you want a good one. The ocean one wasn't that bad, but it's kind of bland too. There's just like three colors. Usually you want at least five or six colors. Uh, but anyway, so we'll have, or even more, not too many though. Uh, but more than, more than three colors. This only has like three colors, four colors. One about maybe eight colors or something. Basically, when you, when you create your color script, you want, uh, keywords to be a certain color, user defined variables to be a certain color, uh, object names to be another color conditionals could be something else comments could be something else and kind of like that class name could be all different okay so or namespace uh, so yeah so basically what's happening here is we have a string city local string variable then we're calling a list box if city list box dot selected item does not equal to negative one which means that something is being selected at this time during the OK button click and we'll say okay well the city empty string is going to point to the city list box dot whatever item is selected dot to string to convert it to a string I think we're having so we're going to put a switch here This is in uh, okay. So this is going to determine the, t the time zone. City. Okay. So basically, once again, we have a string city variable. If city list box dot selected index does not equal negative one, which means something is being selected then the city string is going to point to whatever is being selected. Now nothing's really going to change on the GUI at this point. Something's going to be selected. City's going to now grab that data pretty much. Point to it. What we're really trying to do is set this time zone label here. So then what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, well, we're going to use a switch here. You could have used an if or an else. Uh, my keyboard's gone again. So I think still in this if, yeah, so we're going to be still in this if, so we'll say a switch city, so we'll switch the city, so we'll say case, uh, notice how we use a string here because we're trying to reference a string. Then we'll say, okay, well here we'll say time zone label dot text points to uh, the time zone. Hawaii Aleutian, Aleutian. Aleutian? I think it's Aleutian. Hawaii Aleutian? Or Aleutian? I don't really, I'm not familiar with this, with this time zone, I just, I didn't even know they were in a, I thought it was Pacific, I thought it was Pacific, uh, no, I, I think Hawaii is, uh, like, a, like, maybe a, an hour, a few, an hour or two, less than the time zone I'm in now. I didn't know it was called Hawaii Aleutian. Uh, sometimes you look, when I look at the economic calendar for like investing or trading economic reports, they have the time zones. I think they just call it Hawaii time. They don't, I've never seen this Hawaii Aleutian. Maybe, well, maybe, I don't know. I usually just go by like UTC minus and then whatever number it is. 
But for example, on TV, sometimes they say like Eastern Time Zone, which is like on the East Coast. Like on, in North America, they say uh, that it's Eastern Standard Time, so I guess some people wouldn't know what that means either. Okay, so we have our time zone label, dot text, points to Hawaii Lotion, or Lotion. Uh, then we'll break. So underneath that, just uh, put a break. And we'll go with the next case here. The next city name. Remember the case is the uh, actual what the variable uh, data is pointing to. So in this case this string is Honolulu, this, this string is San Francisco. And we'll say time zone label dot text points to mountain here the text points to Hawaii Lucian mountain then we'll break that's not right San Francisco is not in mountain time I think this is this is wrong is is that right San Francisco I thought it was just uh, West Coast time which is Pacific. Yeah, this is wrong. <laughs> this is, I don't know if this was on purpose or... Because this, San Francisco is in Pacific time. I know that because I'm in BC, which is above Oregon, above Seattle. Uh, so this is wrong. I think it's a mistake. Or is that just me making the mistake? Okay, that might have just might have just been me. So Honolulu is Hawaii Lotion. San Francisco is Pacific. My bad. Might have been me actually. My apologize for that. San Francisco. We have okay. So then Denver would be in Mountain. That would be right. Case uh, Denver. So Utah and. Colorado should be in mountain time, that's correct. So we have mountain here. So case, whoops, what happened there? Then here, so we'll let you continue unless you put the break. At least in uh, in Rider. So here we have case uh, Minneapolis. I don't I actually forgot where that is. Is that in St. Louis? Forgot. Not from the not from down there. So time zone uh, label dot text points to uh, Central. Then we'll go with, uh, sorry, then our break statement, and then case uh, New York. We'll say time zone label dot text points to Easter. Then we'll have a break statement, so that should be everything. Move that if or that switch block up, then the if block. Underneath that, we'll have our else statement. Then we'll say we didn't have a default case. Uh, we could have had one here. What was this if here? Okay, uh, we could have included it either way. Uh, maybe not. Uh, okay, so instead of doing that, we'll just say, okay, well, if city list box dot selected index is not equal to negative one, so which means that 
in this case, it's, we're saying not equal to. So if it is equal to negative one, that would mean that no city is or no nothing is selected in our list box, which would which would be an else statement. Then we'll say okay. Well then, message box dot show select a city. That should be pretty much it. Don't think we really need to do the exit button. We do it every time. So that's pretty much it. So what's happening here? Uh, so let's just talk about it. I'll talk about it a bit. So we have. So if city. So if the okay. So if the OK button is clicked. And something is selected. Let's say Honolulu is selected. Then, why are these backwards? Did I mess it up too? No. Nope. They're not in the same order. Uh, that should be fine. Unless I mess it up. Yeah, it should be fine. So we have, let's just say, okay, well, let's say Honolulu selected at the time. When the OK button's clicked, when the OK button is clicked, then the time zone will get set to the time zone label dot text here. As you can see, time zone label dot text will point to uh, Hawaii Aleutian. That's all that's going to happen, and the rest of the time zones will get set depending on what city you have clicked. That's pretty much it. Uh, so thanks for watching, guys. If you guys like the video, you can like and subscribe to support the channel. Uh, if you guys want to see more investing and programming tutorials, uh, we'll be going over many more, well, more, la more languages to be coming up. Uh, so we'll be finishing C Sharp, then we're doing JavaScript. We'll start with Web 1. I think there's three webs to do. Uh, kind of like we had three Javas. Uh, there's also one more mobile, which I haven't. On. I will. I promise you, I'll get the mobile uh, tutorials up when I have some more time here. Right now, I got a lot of videos to upload. Uh, like I'm talking over like 150 videos uh, that are just sitting on my hard drive, waiting to. I try to do about a few. I try to do at least one every day. Some days I try to do about three or four a day if I can. Uh, I know a lot of the investing. The subscribers are waiting for investing stuff, so I have to do investing stuff too. Uh, then I'm going to be doing both uh, when I have more time. But pretty much, uh, we'll be continuing with the C Sharp tutorials. We're about halfway done now. Almost halfway, about that. And then, uh, what else we have? Uh, we have. So we'll be doing JavaScript, HTML, CSS. Then we'll be doing C++. Then we'll be going back to adding to that uh, some more web stuff. Uh, perhaps using React, Angular, Node. Uh, kind of just skimming through those quickly. Kind of with more with like the newer web technologies they use in the actual workforce. Uh, I forgot the names of them, like Azure and all that, uh, MongoDB and all that stuff. We'll talk about that. Uh, we have that to do, and then we have PHP, which will be combined with that. Uh, a little bit of SQL, and that'll be most of it. That'll be that'll conclude uh, maybe a mobile too, and that that that'll conclude all the programming. Uh, then we have a little bit of networking to do and AI, and that's it. So that's pretty much it. Uh, but yeah, I guess it's still a lot more to do. We'll be going. We'll be once we get through the web stuff. Uh, we'll be getting through pretty much at the end. We'll be a, we'll be full stack all, about a full stack. So pretty much the the op the the court the goal of this channel will help you make pretty much become a full stack developer uh, so we'll be covering most 
of the languages, the the like the common languages, pretty much the most popular languages in the industry. So if you guys want to see more of that, uh, do subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.